I think that uh, visions of the future serve many different purposes. You know, often they're used, say, within industry to try and set a direction or as a form of propaganda to open up new markets or to test ideas. And with speculative design, it was always trying to decouple it from that sort of agenda and not to say, here's a vision we should try and pursue and implement, which is where a lot of confusion happens, but rather, here's just a very different way of thinking about reality or the world or social relations, yet let's use that as a catalyst to spark further thinking and imagining. And I think that's quite, it sounds pretty obvious, but it's quite a subtle issue and it gets lost, I think, a lot in the ways that speculative design gets interpreted.